r slash ask reddit by ready reddit. Students of reddit, what was your school's big scandal? My high school did a block lunch, where everyone ate lunch at the same time instead of separating them into A, B, C lunches. Because our cafeteria couldn't fit the entire student body, it was normal for kids to be eating in the hallway, on the floor, or at tables all throughout the school. One day during lunch, unbeknownst to the staff and student body, our app decided to hold a lockdown drill. He got on the intercom and told everyone there was an active shooter in the cafeteria in order to see how kids would react had it been a real shooting. Turned into pure anarchy. Kids calling 911, running out of school and not returning to class after the drill was over. Kids having anxiety attacks while hiding in classrooms. Dying calls from students to parents. It was pretty bad. Should I mention how this was two days after the Parkland shooting? Edit. Grandma. Bro did he get fired? Nap. Just got some local news coverage and had to issue an apology over the intercom the next day. From there on out each drill had heavy disclaimers. Someone burned down one of our buildings. Oh I forgot all about the student crime. In middle school a kid broke in one night to the building with the library. He piled up a bunch of books and set them on fire. Plus he stole some stuff. One of the things he stole was a t-shirt from a fundraiser display. He got busted because he wore the shirt, a shirt no one else would have. He piled up a bunch of books and set them on fire. Maybe his English teacher made him read Fahrenheit 451 and it inspired him in the wrong way. In middle school the athletics director was caught putting cameras in the girls locker room. Our female PE teacher in 6th grade was caught touching the girls. Then, a male high school PE teacher and wrestling coach got busted for porn and touching kids and set himself on fire in his home. I was in the showers are no longer mandatory and please wear swim trunks in the pool generation. Even as a kid I could tell something was wrong with both of them and now looking back, I wonder how many social cues I missed. Like if I was an unaware daydreaming kid and still felt weirded out, what would have registered as an adult? Or one of the kid's parents? Even hearing stories about the female PE teacher always had me thinking other adults don't do these things why does she? Nobody who would ever harm a kid would walk into a private room full of naked kids, right? Jesus duck. And not just that, to scout leaders, two priests, two doctors and a cop, and however many clergy the church was covering up for. And for such a small town, all of us were so close together and everyone around us were ducking monsters. I'm pretty sure my high school English teacher had serious relationships with at least 5 girls from junior to senior year. And that's just who I knew. I can't imagine however many others I never heard about. Like, locked door lunches, type deal. It was in 2007, but my high school had a string of bomb threats. There was a bathroom where no cameras could see who went in or out, and someone wrote in sharpie across one of the stall doors, there's a bomb in the school with that day's date. The school was evacuated, and we all went home. For the next few months, there was a bomb threat seemingly every Friday. We'd be in the middle of the first or second period, then we'd all go home. After we missed enough days, we all had to come in on several Saturdays, and the bomb threats stopped. We also had a bunch of bomb threats around the same time, but they caught the guy doing it. I guess he had a couple of tests he didn't want to do, so he used the bomb threats to force an evacuation to get extra time. The school held a special assembly just for the sole purpose of making him apologize in front of the whole school. He cried the entire time. This actually came out during my last semester there, but it had been happening for years. One of the English teachers had been having sex with a few select students every year. Most were football players. It got really weird. When I had her class it wouldn't be out of place if a student from another class asked to go to the bathroom and just went to her room to see her. One day some kid brought her a drink from McDonald's because he was late to school and got breakfast. It only came out because there was this one girl who was in an argument with her for some reason and said something along the lines of, that's why you duck your students. And the whole incident got brought up to the office and they interviewed everyone. Found out she'd had sex with multiple students for the past few years. Edit. I've been getting a lot of comments asking if this was in blank. All I'll say is that it was in Georgia. 
it's downright wholesome to see age appropriate sex scandals in schools. Yeah, it's wholesome until a case like one in a certain technical vocational school, a high school meant for people to directly learn a job and not intending to go to university, Strojna Solomariba, it was not my school, just to be clear. Five years ago, where the headmaster and math teacher had sex in one of the offices and a group of students heard them and secretly filmed them. The video leaked, all Slovenian media and even some foreign newspapers slash sites picked it up and made a massive nasty mess out of it. You could find it in the news for quite a time. Some defended the adulterous couple, right to privacy, blame is mostly on the students. Some attacked them, inappropriate for a professional relationship, even more to do it in a school, both kinda true. The situation was dissected from all possible angles by legal experts. There were debates held about it on the national TV. Some trashier newspapers even published pictures. Don't know what happened with the teacher, but the headmaster eventually committed suicide. Girl attempted suicide in the girl's bathroom. Guy got caught, having sex with a teammate in the locker room after practice. Three girls caught snorting cocaine in the bathroom. Someone was boinking a teacher, but we never found out who. Teacher resigned. Someone put red hots in the hand dryer in the boys bathroom, and it caught fire. Four years of school, three fire alarm pulls. Growing up in a 3k population town in the middle of ducking nowhere was crazy as hell sometimes. These events were over my four years of high school. Edit. Three fire alarms due to actual fires. Sorry for not clarifying. A woman with severe medical issues, both physical and mental deficiencies, snuck away from her group home and hid in the broom closet of our cafeteria for two days. She ate all of our garlic bread, took someone's jacket, and walked out 36 hours later. This was in 2007. We didn't have cameras or anything and no one saw her go in or out. They only knew she was there because the jacket had the name of the high school and when she was found she straight up told the police she had been hiding in there for two days. The group home said she had been missing for roughly a day and a half. Parents were upset obviously but nothing changed until last year when the school shut down due to low attendance admission enrollment. She ate all of our garlic bread, took someone's jacket and walked out 36 hours later. Power move. In my senior year, one of the popular football players was killed while he was driving drunk. It was obviously big news on campus and just a few days after, the school had this giant memorial on our football field dedicated to talking about how great of a guy he was and how he'll be dearly missed. He also got like 5 consecutive pages in our yearbook dedicated to him. But not long before his death. A less popular band student had committed suicide and his death didn't receive nearly as much coverage. He didn't get a giant memorial and he didn't get mentioned in our yearbook. One girl made this giant rant about this double standard on Facebook and it went viral around our campus. Our school was split. Some people praised her for pointing it out, others were annoyed and said that what she did was inappropriate. Even one of my English teachers defended the football player. She said that his was death was a tragic accident, whereas the band student chose to die, and that there's a big difference. This girl went on to leave the school because she was getting death threats from friends of the football player and our entire campus was completely divided over this whole incident. Football player chose to die with poor choices. If you plan on drinking, don't bring your ducking car. Simple as that. I'm out of school now, but in high school it was discovered that a student had attempted to print the statistics exam to study before the test. This was found out in the morning when the teachers went into the math office, put more paper in the printer and out came the exam that the stats teacher did not print. Now, cheating at my high school was punishable by expulsion, so the teachers all flipped out. This was full exams, so we had a whole year of school assemblies where we all got talked to. I was a sophomore at the time and only seniors took stats, but they were basically trying to get anyone who knew something to talk. No one ever said a word. No one guy got in trouble. Nothing. We even talked about it after the seniors graduated and no one knew anything. So either someone is amazing at keeping secrets or the stats teach printed it by accident and didn't realize and found in the morning because the printer ran out of paper. 
so on the day ahead of a huge event that was going to happen in the auditorium of our school, someone peed on the audio equipment in the auditorium of our school, and it ended up not working anymore. The principal announced that anyone who was a witness, and who could tell them who culprit is, would receive 500 euros from the school. Turns out it was someone from our neighboring class, and probably 8 to 10 guys from that class, went into the principal's office to rat him out, and receive the money. Just that the majority of them who went there were just claiming to have witnessed it to receive money as well. The guy got expelled from school, and had to pay for new audio equipment which was probably at least around 3000, 4000 year. Though idk whether everyone who ratted him out ended up receiving the 500 euros or not. Thank you for watching ready reddit. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more r slash ask reddit videos. Share your stories in the comment section below.